Hi watchers and welcome back to my YouTube channel Pour You A Print by Tiffany. Um, I've had a couple of people actually personally message me asking me how much silicone to use in their paints. So I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment today. Um, <clears throat> and I got chatting to one lady and uh, she might find this a little bit uh, useful. Um, as a pouring medium, before I use my paint, I mix some uh, craft glue, just like this. Just uh, about half a pot uh, full of glue and then I dilute it with water. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but it needs to be of... Uh, runny consistency once you've diluted it with water so it looks a little bit like single cream and when I've mixed all my paints which I've done already because they've taken such a long time to actually mix um, <clears throat> I before I start uh, pouring water in I mix it with the PVA glue first to use as a pouring medium it mixes much better and then you have to add less water so if you can see there i've got um a lemon there and i've already mixed it with glue um first of all before i started i put pins into the bottom of here to steady it i've also put some uh, regular masking tape on there to save all the paint going behind the actual uh, photo so I've just used this regular stuff bought it in Wix think it was about a pound um, usually I would use this silicone here but um, I have a bit of a confession to make and it was not so funny at the time but uh, can laugh about it now I've been using this uh, liquid silicone that you would use to lubricate joints or things on your car and I used a little bit too much and when I went to actually uh, torch the paint when it was poured onto the canvas it caught on fire <clears throat> as I say I could laugh about it now but it wasn't really funny at the time um, so I'm not using that anymore I'm actually using this uh, silicone here it's um, got dimethicone in it and it's a lot safer for when you want to torch the painting to get all the bubbles out of it so um, like I said I've already put that into my paints save a little bit of time and I've mixed them all up and today I'm going to do um, <clears throat> a puddle pour wouldn't usually put silicone into a puddle pour but I'm going to try something a little bit different today and a puddle pour is exactly uh, how it what it actually says in the description it's a puddle pour so we're going to start with just a little bit uh, here I'm going to start with a little bit of black just there and another little bit of black just there like that and then I'm going to just mix the paint, make sure it's all mixed in. I'm going to do a little bit of white here. And then I'm going to do another bit of white here. And we're going to start pouring the paint on top. So the colours I've used today are uh, this lovely lemon colour here. And I'm going to pour that in to the black like this. Try and get it into the centre. Okay, we're going to pour a little bit into the yellow, another bit into the black. Don't worry if you drip paint on your canvas because obviously we're going to mix it all in together later. Okay, then I'm going to use a bit more white now back on to the black and the yellow there. Okay, it's all starting to mix in. And um, then I've got um, this gold colour which I thought I would try uh, as well it's an acrylic paint bought it from Hobbycraft it was uh, on sale for a few quid so I thought I would try that as well it's got a bit of metallic into it um, and I didn't want it to be too shiny 
So I've actually mixed it with a regular house paint. Um, regular house paints do have acrylic in them, so I've just mixed it in to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, so we're going to carry on with the pouring here and then we're going to just give it a minute to settle. Um, <clears throat> if any of you have uh, done any of these paintings, which I know some people have because a lady has already sent me some of her uh, paintings she did the other day, but she uh, has been asking me about the silicone because she couldn't get any cells at all in her painting. So, um, I did message her and tell her what I was using, but obviously I've changed that now to the um, dimethicone that I just uh, showed you for obvious reasons, because my painting caught on fire. Uh, like I said, I can laugh about it now, but it wasn't very funny. Um, at the time I just had flames coming out of the canvas. Um, I had... Uh, no fire extinguisher, so just uh, blowing on it to try and blow out the flames. Like I said, it's quite funny now, but uh, it wasn't very funny at the time. So I'm just going to keep pouring into the middle there. I don't know whether you can see it um, on the camera. So just going to keep pouring like this. Um, <clears throat> wouldn't usually use lots of paint on this size canvas, but I am today just to give you an idea. I don't usually like to use a lot of black because black is very um, dominant uh, when you paint and sometimes it can be a little bit uh, overpowering on the paint. So we're just coming to the end of the gold there. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit more white in the middle just like that and then I'm going to put some white around the edge of the canvas as well. Usually the white sinks to the bottom. I don't usually put silicone into the white paint. Um, in all the others, yes, but not usually the white. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that there like that. Looks a little bit of a, um, <clears throat> bit of a muddy mess at the moment, but once we start moving the paint around, uh, it should and hopefully look something quite nice, okay? So I'm gonna start moving the paint just this way towards me a second, like this. Mix it in with the white paint that I've put around to make it flow slightly better. Okay, so we're just moving the paint around the canvas here to try and uh, create some kind of art there. So it's looking quite good, it's all moving. I'm gonna move it down that way there, as you can see. Move it a little bit more towards me now and off that way. It's quite a messy um, thing to do, but great fun if you wanna do things with the children. And I suggest you put some gloves on because like I said, it's very messy. You can see I've usually got some trays, silver trays to catch um, all the drips there. So that's flowing off quite nicely. I'm gonna just move it a little bit more this way. I've got a couple of cells forming there. And uh, yeah, so there we go. That's what it looks like now. I'm gonna leave it for an hour or so um, because more cells will pop up on it. Usually I would use the torch on it, but I'm not going to bother today. I'm just going to see how it develops with just the silicone in the paint. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. Um, <clears throat> any comments, please like uh, the YouTube channel. Give us a big thumbs up if you think this is quite cool. Any paintings that you're all attempting to do, because like I said, a lady has messaged me. She sent me a couple of her paintings that she's done and um, they didn't work out too great, but that was because of the silicone. Um, I'd appreciate having a look at your paintings. Post them to me. It's just a bit of fun. Um, but go on to the YouTube channel. We've got several other videos on there and um, give us a bit of a like and subscribe to it. 
Thanks very much.